when I tell y'all it's hot in here, it's freaking hot in this room. Like, cool child, I gotta hurry up and get this video done. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So what's up ladies, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl April, aka Muffins, my lovers. This is going to be an update, you know, update. Y'all probably wondering like, what am I about to update y'all on? Um, it's about this hair, guys, like this hair. First of all, it is dumb hot in this room, like seriously, it is super hot in here. I feel like I have encountered more or less like this heat wave, like seriously, I don't remember it ever being this hot and a girl be ready to die okay so with that being said this is just an update on this unit that I made by Eunice hair I will post all the information down below and hopefully I'll remember to post the original video also down below so let's get started with the hair I did get a lace frontal and I did have three bundles of hair from them and I made it into a wig of course so prior to the video um, or prior to me, you know, just like wearing the wig, I did bleach the knots in the unit. So I decided to bleach the knots after because that's just what I like to do. I like to bleach the knots after I make the wig. Um, just because it just is easier for me, meaning um, these baby hairs are stuck so hard. Okay, so prior to the video or prior to me, you know, actually wearing the unit, I did bleach the knots of the lace frontal. Um, I remember using, I did use, remember using, I used, um, and I remember that too, I used the 40 developer. Along with that, I used the um, Salon Pro bleach, the one in the blue container, like for blue. Because you know, the blue one is for darker hair tones, you know what I'm saying? The knots did lift fairly easy. The one thing that I did notice about it, they lifted so, when I say fairly easy, like, they lifted like super duper quick like the knots lifted really quick in the unit like when I say really quick I mean like within like 30 minutes because I've had some where girl I had to sit there for like an hour well I didn't sit there but the the product sat on the actual wig for an hour or the frontal for an hour because it just didn't work out or I rinsed it out I rinsed the bleach the um the bleach off the unit thinking that it was ready the knots were lifted and in fact they were not so I had to go back in and just redo it and when I have to do that I just leave the frontal wet and then I put the bleach on it again and it just lifts a lot easier so I have noticed that with like some of my units or some of the frontals that um, sometimes you have to make sure that the frontal itself is damp because if you don't then it's just the, for some of those reasons those knots are like super stubborn i've noticed that like some of those knots are really stubborn and i've had some units that were like that not all of them but i've had quite a few that were kind of like on the stubborn side so i'd have to rinse it out and then to come to find out that once i've rinsed it out that it's still you know not lifted it's very frustrating and it's like is this thing going to bleach or not however once you re-bleach it a second time while the frontal or the closure is wet damp you know what i'm saying wet they just lift a lot easier very stubborn but i've also noticed that with that type of with those type of frontals and closure they don't shed as bad you know what i'm saying like they are like the strongest not the strongest frontals and closures ever and they just don't shed like that now versus this one right here which actually um the, the knots lifted super easy in the unit when i rinsed it out there was um of course there was a little bit of brassiness and i just used the um the Sally brand um, purple shampoo shimmer lights. I use the Sally brand shimmer lights, and um, 
I, I, I used it twice. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was I actually used it twice. I first, first I put it on and lathered it up and rinsed it out. And then the second time I put it on, I let it sit for like 15 minutes and there was no brassy tones, which is perfect. That's what it says on the bottle to do it twice. And I did notice that it was shedding. It was shedding. Okay. So I was noticing that the front tool was shedding, which was not making me too happy because I had just put in all this work, meaning I had just made this unit and it fit perfect and now it wants to shed like where are we doing that at we're not about to shed okay so yeah it did shed um a few times after washing it meaning you know for me brushing it and it just wasn't i guess it just wasn't the actual frontal it was just the hair in general and then it finally did stop okay so i was kind of worried in the beginning because i really didn't want to have like a ball patch in the frontal and i just really didn't because the frontal is like the entire wig and nobody don't like to put in a whole bunch of work and then have to redo something or just reuse something because of a company's mistake or just not even mistakes but just like bad quality so I know my cornrow is all lopsided but okay whatever so that was like the issue that I was having um, in the beginning I was kind of really paranoid and scared like you know listen listen Linda this has to be right this is definitely has to be right because if it doesn't I'm gonna be really pissed off I do get upset because um, just like I said, I put my time and work into stuff. I don't think I like it like this too much. No. I was trying to do something like really cool. Not cool. Like, oh, I want to be cool today. But just so it doesn't have to be in my face so much. But I kind of like it down because of... You know, I just did one side. So it ended up being okay. It stopped shedding. And it, it ended up just being really soft. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ended up being really soft. But I, I just hate when you first get a product. And this is their body wave. Um, I just hate when you first get a product and it just shows out. Like, it puts you in a state of mind. Like, are you going to be worth the hype? Are you going to last? How are you going to turn out? So I really was thinking like, okay, this unit is going to turn out really crappy because it's just shedding. And this is not going to be a happy moment for me because I actually really put a lot of time into this wig, like seriously. Meaning I changed up the cap just because I wanted to try something different here. This is like the third third time that I've done a video for them I believe either third or the fourth this is probably the fourth one this is the fourth one now you know they have great customer service it's affordable now and I say when they have great customer service is because of you know oh if you have an issue you can contact them now so with that being said um, I do like Eunice as a company in a whole of course they are an international company meaning they are based in China you know that is where majority of the hair comes from but it's super duper affordable would I purchase it if I had to purchase it I mean I probably would there are so many different companies Companies that I have purchased hair from. I've purchased hair to make my own wigs. I go for the best deal out there. It has nothing to do with all oh, because they sent me hair. I've gotten lots of hair sent to me, but I go for the best deal and also I go for the good quality. So it's not even the best deal. The best deal on the best quality is what I go for. And I do think that they have it. Unice does have it. They have, um, you know, like their standard packaging and their standard delivery, DHL, and things like that. But their hair is good quality hair. I would say and suggest, you know, give them try check out their prices you can do some comparisons and stuff but just be aware when you're doing a frontal or a closure if the knots don't lift try it a second time while it's wet because that's when you realize because I have noticed this those knots are the strongest and that frontal or closure is definitely not going to shed like anything else so you guys I will post all of the information from Eunice down below hope you guys enjoyed this video it's informative whatnot and I'll see you guys on a soon to come video